Arsenal has just surpassed Chelsea after talking with the agent of the £101 million striker, and Mikel Arteta confirms an incredible new defender for next season. Stay with me until the end of the video to understand everything happening behind the scenes at the Emirates Stadium. But before that, if you're as passionate about Arsenal as we are, don't waste any time and subscribe to our channel right now to stay updated on everything happening with the greatest team in the Premier League. And without further ado, let's dive into today's top news. Arsenal have now overtaken Chelsea in the race to sign a £101 million striker this summer after holding talks with his agent to discuss a potential transfer to Emirates Stadium. The Gunners and Blues are both in the market for fresh attacking talent to bolster their team for next term. Arsenal enjoyed a club record 91 goals in the 2023-24 Premier League season but rarely relied on a natural no-9. Nicholas Jackson also rarely led Chelsea's line as they liked. Only Bukayo Saka, Kai Havertz, and Leandro Trossard scored double-digit hauls in North London in 23-24. Out-out-out strikers Edin Kedia and Gabriel Jesus, on the other hand, scored five and four goals. Havertz bagged eight of his goals in 13 outings as a striker. Arsenal approach Victor Osimhen's agent to discuss the Chelsea target's transfer. Arsenal have shown an interest in targeting Victor Osimhen of SSC Napoli in the transfer window to hand Mikel Arteta a true centre-forward. That is according to IL Roma, which cites the Gunners as one of the Premier League clubs the 25-year-old is waiting to make an offer. Napoli expect Osimhen will leave the Serie A side this summer and are exploring a swoop for Romelu Lukaku as his replacement. But Osimhen will not depart before July despite Arsenal, Chelsea and Paris Saint-Germain plus Saudi sides Al-Hilal and Al-Ali showing interest in him. Arsenal have also spoken with Osimhen's agent to discuss the Napoli star's potential transfer to Emirates Stadium. Sporting director Edu has tried to understand the 27-cap Nigeria star situation after scoring 15 goals through 25 appearances during the 23-24 Serie A campaign. Chelsea have slipped away in the race to sign Osimhen with Arsenal launching talks with his agent. Paris Saint-Germain are also yet to make a serious move for his arrival. But Ayel Matino reports that Al Ali are ready to trigger Osimhen's 120 million euros, 101 million pounds, release clause at Napoli. Victor Osimhen ticks all the boxes that Mikel Arteta needs at Emirates Stadium. Napoli president Aurelio De Laurentiis will not accept a bid below the 120 million euros, 101 million pounds, clause that Osimhen agreed to when signing his latest contract in December. But the Azuri boss is realistic about his striker's fate as Ayel Matino notes he earns 15 million euros a year, pound 243k, a slash w, gross. The Gunners offering Osimhen a similar salary to switch to N5 would instantly slot him in the top three of Arsenal's 23-24 wage bill. Osimhen would even become one of Arsenal's record signings by triggering his release clause. But his arrival in North London would delight some. Edu possibly targeting the Nigerian has already drawn public support with some Arsenal fans pleading for Osimhen's transfer. Additionally, former Trinidad and Tobago star Shaka Hislop is confident in his belief that Osimhen is the ideal striker for Arsenal to target in the summer. Hislop recently said on ESPN FC, without question, the first order of business is signing that style of finisher, and Osimhen ticks all the boxes that Arsenal need. £25 million forward on Arsenal's radar wants the same salary as David Raya if he's to move this summer. The Gunners are keen on a new forward, while a midfielder and a fullback also feature on Mikel Arteta's list. As we all know, the Gunners came up just short last season as Manchester City beat them to the title. With that, Mikel Arteta is desperate to bring in a few players who he knows can challenge the first 11 and add depth to the squad in the main. And according to reports from Italy, one potential signing is wanting quite the pay packet if he is to sign for a new club this summer. Federico Chiesa lays out wage demands amid links to Arsenal. One of the forwards being linked with the Gunners is Juventus and Italy star, Federico Chiesa. Indeed, it was only last week that reports claimed Chiesa was one Arsenal's list of targets, with the Italian set to be open to leaving Turin this summer. However, should Arsenal want to sign Chiesa, then they'll need to spend a fair bid on his contract. According to Tuto Juve, Chiesa wants around €5 million, Euros, 4.2 million pounds, a year to sign for a new club. That sort of figure reportedly puts Roma out of contention, despite their interest. Further, Juventus also want around £25 million to let Chiesa go, which when coupled with those big wages, means it's an expensive deal all in. In terms of Premier League wages, what Chiesa is asking is not actually that high-end and nowhere near the top of Arsenal's wage structure. 
Per salary website Capology, Arsenal's top earner right now is Kai Havertz, who earns around £280,000 a week, or £14.5 million a year. Chiesa, then, would come and weigh down that list on around the £85,000 a week mark. That puts him in the same sort of bracket as David Raya and Jurian Timber, and just above squad players like Jakub Kiwier. So, while the wages are too much for Roma, it's well within the reach of Arsenal. Whether or not they see Chiesa, lauded a potential superstar, as the man they want, remains to be seen. Arsenal now want to sign, incredible, defender Tottenham were ready to pay big money for. There's been a lot of talk about Arsenal signing a striker this summer, but now, they're being linked with one of the most exciting centre-backs in Europe. Indeed, while the Gunners had the best defensive record in the Premier League last season, you can never stand still in this game, and Arsenal are looking to bolster their squad even further. Arsenal interested in Jean Claire Tadibo. According to Sport, Arsenal are among the clubs interested in Tadibo from Nice. The centre back has been brilliant in recent years, and he's been a target for a number of Premier League clubs as of late. Manchester United are said to be keen on Tadibo, while Fabrizio Romano stated that Tottenham were ready to spend big money on Tadibo in the January transfer window. I think for Tadibo it's going to be very complicated to see him leaving Nice in January because Tottenham wanted him and they were prepared to put big money on the table, Romano said. Nice didn't want to negotiate. Not even for 35 or 40 million euros. So, I think it's going to be very difficult. Tadibo could be brilliant for Arsenal. It would take someone special to break up the William Saliba, Gabriel Magalhães partnership at Arsenal, but the, incredible, defender could do just that. Indeed, Tadibo and Saliba already have an incredible rapport from their time together at Nice and with France, and if Arsenal were able to reunite this duo, they could have an even better defensive partnership going into next season. Of course, Arsenal have other priorities in this transfer window, but if an opportunity to sign Tadibo on the cheap does crop up, don't be shocked if the Gunners do pounce on this one. Tadibo could be a fantastic signing for Arsenal. Gary Cahill says Arsenal have an unbelievable player who's even better than Declan Rice. Gary Cahill has been ranking some of England's best players ahead of Euro 2024. Speaking to Live Score on TikTok, Cahill has been tasked with ranking five of England's best players. According to Cahill, Phil Foden is England's best player, but, intriguingly, he's put two Arsenal players in the top five, placing Bukayo Saka ahead of Declan Rice. Gary Cahill says Bukayo Saka is better than Declan Rice. Cahill ranked England's star players, putting Saka ahead of Rice. For me Foden is top, he's had an unbelievable season, off the back of that, Bellingham second. I will go Kane, Saka and Rice, but that's harsh on Rice because he's an unbelievable player, but he's in that unflattering position, Cahill said. Saka and Rice are two of Arsenal's most important players, and they're also two of England's most important players. It's been a long time since Arsenal had two players who were so vital to the England squad. Indeed, the last time Arsenal had two players who were so vital to the three Lions it was probably when they had Ashley Cole and Sol Campbell in the team, and that's almost 20 years ago now. Arsenal have done a brilliant job at nurturing their own academy talent and targeting homegrown players in the transfer market in recent years, and if it wasn't for Ben White's issues with the current England setup, Arsenal could easily have three key players in the England starting eleven. Of course, whether or not you think Saka is better than Rice is up for debate, but, in all honesty, it doesn't matter that much as both players are in the same team and working towards the same goals. Arsenal and England are very lucky to have both Rice and Saka. Well folks, those were the main news for today. If you enjoyed the video and want to stay updated on everything happening with our beloved team, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel now and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. Thanks for joining us, and until the next video.